If you're new to the channel and you appreciate the content or you like the written wallpaper, please give a like and a sub because that would be greatly appreciated. Before I start this, I just want to say that there's a lot of sort of technical background behind Arch Linux that I'm just not going to explain because I assume that if you install Arch Linux, you would know the installation process and your partitions and things like that. So if you're kind of not unsure what you're doing, I would probably not continue with this because it might make your situation worse. But anyway, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're stuck in emergency mode, there is you have some set of tools within that emergency mode that might fix your system, right? But it might not also. And I previously did a video on showing a quick solution when you have an error such as like cannot mount, check the journal, things like that. And my solution was just to boot into emergency mode and reinstall the kernel. Now the issue is that it doesn't seem to always work. And in my last video, some people have said it works. Other people have said it does not work. And recently I found myself in the same situation where this did not work because of other reasons. And I was also having trouble with getting network uh, started and things like that. So um, I had to find another solution. And my solution that worked this time was to take uh, an actual live install and run it on that PC and crew into it and then reinstall the kernel that way. And I'll explain that really quickly and briefly. So if you've installed Arch Linux, you've probably had that USB drive somewhere. You can get another one. The image is just 800 megs just to get a basic live install going. So you first write that to a USB drive, a SD card, whatever you got there. And you want to boot into it. And you want to configure your network. Now again, that's an installation procedure, configuring the network, and I'm assuming you know how to do that already. The next step you want to do is mount your root partition to the mount point. So we would do that by calling mount slash dev slash, and here is where your device and uh, partition should be. So let's say for example SDA1 is your root, you would mount it uh, to MNT here. Then you would mount your boot partition. So let's say um, it was SDA2, you do SDA2. Okay, and now you would crute, oops, we're on arch here, <laughs> arch crute, and then go to MNT. After that, it would display some prompt telling you that you're cruded in. And after that, hopefully, you run Pac-Man S, Linux, and this should reinstall the kernel and rebuild a lot because I was stuck in emergency mode for different reasons on my other computer yesterday. And I tried to change things in emergency mode and it ended up uh, breaking the system even more. And the only way that I could do it was by going in and reinstalling the kernel this way and this got me into a stable situation where I was able to boot. So I hope that this one works. I think it's a little bit more, uh, how do you say, I want to say foolproof, but it's easier than going into emergency mode because I couldn't even get my network up and running. And an easy trick to, to getting your network running during uh, an Arch Linux installation without having to configure anything on the prompt. You could, if you have Android, you could just connect your phone and do USB tethering, and it will detect um, your network through the USB on the phone through the tethering. So it'll make the installation process easier. And this too, just in case if you have to re download your kernel. So uh, that's about it for this one. I really hope that you found this useful, and I would really appreciate if you gave a like and a sub if you already haven't.